Yeah, what's up guys? Thanks for watching. This is uh part two. Or it could be a single video, but anyway, um in the last video like I showed you guys how to run uh Ubuntu on M1 processor. And uh I'll try to leave the link in the description below for that video. Um this is mainly other kinds of Linux versions in the Mac M1 CPU. So if you ha if you want to run another version of Linux besides the Ubuntu which seems to be the standard, I'm going to show you guys how. So basically the Parallels desktop is a must. Uh there's some other software out there, VMware or whatever, but this one works really smooth, so you're gonna go at the top and push new. And you know it's gonna tell you about your M1 chip. Continue. I don't even read all this, but I already did. Then um <coughs> you're gonna find another version of the installer. So I did some research and uh for this particular version that I want to install I'm gonna have to go to their website so I'm gonna try to install CentOS I used to say CentOS right and um, you're gonna go to downloads Look at that website is really cool uh, and choose the CentOS stream package right and you wanna choose the ARM64 IBM uh, power, I don't know, maybe it's the old Mac or I don't know, what kind of processors those are. Okay, and then this is usually Intel, the x86 or AMD. That's the architecture. ARM is like M1 or some tablets and stuff. So you're going to download this one, right? Which I already did, so I'm going to kind of speed up the video. Start the download. Alright, oh, it looks like it takes an hour. It's pretty fast though. 36, 35 minutes, okay. And I think I already have it, so let me try to locate that for us. Sorry, I wasn't prepared for this video. Uh, let's open the finder. Open the finder. No, let's see. It could be under downloads. Because I don't I think I downloaded it yesterday. Uh, midnight, yeah. Okay, so here's the ISO, which I'm going to stop this one. I already downloaded it. And it should say CentOS Stream DVD 1 ISO. And uh, okay, guys, so now we have our image. And uh, let's go to here. So I've already downloaded yesterday again. I'm repeating uh, CentOS Stream DVD 1 go to the install and we're gonna look for the stream stream we don't see okay here it is boom let's see if it works okay choose the location all right that's fine customize before installation let's see here you can decide the hardware so it's recommended to do 4 GB let's go with that two CPUs all right so this is my Linux version the two CPU 464 <laughs> gigabytes. This is a very nice development environment. <coughs> I don't do a lot of development, but I do sometimes. Uh, it's really good, very comfortable. CentOS is like the red hat of Linux, uh, very similar, very stable version. So I'm going to go next. I like it much better than Ubuntu. Well, okay, this is where we got stuck last time. So I'm going to choose the Sent. Let's do the test media and install. All right. Let's see how we do here. Doing a little test there. All right. That's why you need the right version. Checking for any errors. Well, it looks like it's gonna take a while. All right. So I'm gonna pause this and uh, wait. Maybe it's almost 100%. should probably pause this for you guys. OK. 
Okay, let it check. You can see on the right here I got all my different versions. Good for developing your Windows, Ubuntu, CentOS. I don't really use these much. Alright. I was trying to do some gaming with this Windows 11, but I haven't tried it out yet. Actually, Windows 10 is much better for gaming, though. Okay, so let's go through the install. We have the English, United States. Alright. And I think we'll be able to choose the keyboard right here. Oh. Okay, I'm going to choose the keyboard. Oh, it doesn't like. Oh, here. Okay. So I'm using a Japanese keyboard. So I'm going to put Japanese. You can use English if you're using English. Now delete this one. Make it less confusing. Done. Um, <coughs> root account is disabled. Let's make a root account. Maybe this is, could be a security issue, but allowed root to SSH. You're gonna allow it, okay? Because I love SSH, okay? Yeah, root can be a little dangerous because um, a lot of hackers know the default settings on that. All right, install destination. We got a so we got a virtual disk here, 64 gigabyte. Field, no disk selection. Um, Alright, I think it's just going to gradually expand. Alright, install local media. Da, 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 okay. Alright, let's begin the installation. So it knows that it's using basically a, a elastic drive inside of your operating system. So we'll install downloading. <coughs> so it's already detecting the network, which is good. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. We don't need it. Uh, close that. Alright. This is the installation DVD. These are for like another machine like the older Intel these are really good AMD Intel CPU okay, it's installing it's a pretty big OS CentOS has evolved a lot but always keeping the same standard of efficiency and quality Alright guys, thanks for waiting. So now the completion of the installation has occurred. And we're just going to click reboot to load the system. Uh, Linux will reboot. Alright, see what it does now. Okay, there's the boot options. If you want to load a drive or something. Alright. So keep in mind this is a virtual machine, so you might not get all the same features as if you load it to a regular computer, but it's much easier to load to a virtual machine. Start the setup. We are running CentOS 9. Okay. Stream 9. Location services, not always needed. Good for browsers. Connect your accounts. We don't need to do that. Okay, about you. Just gonna put a username, password. So this is like a local user. Okay. Go from there. Well done. So nice background. Okay. No thanks. All right. So here's your term. And we just let's check the, the directory, see how it looks. Let's go full screen here. All right, so now 
<coughs> yeah, you can go full screen. Let's do the LS. Okay, so change directory. Let's go to the main. Uh, yeah, it definitely looks like a Linux system. So now you can do all your tr regular Linux commands. Um, you have a little menu here. System monitor, calculator, there's a few tools. Oh, it comes default with the Firefox. If you want to load Google Chrome, um, you can install it from here. Let's see, Google Chrome for CentOS. All right, change to English. How to install? You're gonna have to run some of these commands, and you can install the CentOS.